If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood brother's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. Y'all remember back in 1999, Puffy and Shine and J-Lo, they went out to a club, kicking it, laughing, giggling, high-fiving. Somewhere out of nowhere, shots get fired. During the time of the shots being fired, a woman gets shot in the face. I never knew who this woman was. I always heard about, you know, a woman being shot in the face and stuff like that. And even way back then, this woman right here was yelling to the top of her lungs. Hey, P. Diddy shot me, not shine. Everybody was saying that Shine just shot in the air. Shine did not aim his gun and shoot at nobody. The gun that Shine had on him when he shot in the air, police went up and got those bullets up out of the roof of the building and it proved to be the gun that Shine had on him. The gun that he had, the bullets matched from the bullets that was in the ceiling. He admitted, I shot in the air. He didn't snitch on P. Diddy, but everybody that, that was there was like, P. Diddy was the one that was aiming that gun and shot. And shot that woman in the face. But the cold-blooded part about everything, P. Diddy ain't go to jail. Shine went to jail. And this sister that I'm about to show y'all finally came out and broke her silence and just let everybody know that she'd been saying this from the beginning. That P. Diddy is actually the one that shot her in the face. Check it out. Hey, how you doing? So, hmm. Here today about this latest lawsuit with the P. Diddy, Puff Daddy, Puffy, Sean Puffy Combs, whatever you want to call them. Lawsuit that has come out involving the producer Little Rod. So basically his last two lawsuits or last two major lawsuits, um, the one with Cassie, she made mention that Puffy made her carry his guns into nightclubs and wherever they went. And he threatened her to make her feel like she had to do so. And of while there were lots of things of importance, that stood out to me. And I'm going to tell you why. In this lawsuit with the producer Little Rod, they were both essayed by him and threatened and physically harmed. But in this lawsuit, he appears to be a very young producer to me. But he said something very specific. As a means of threatening him, Puffy said, that's why I shot up the club in New York back in 1999 and let Shine take the fall for it. Let me tell you why that's of utmost importance to me. Because I am the woman who he shot in the face in that 1999, December 27th, 1999, Club New York shooting. I have told everyone ad nauseum since then, even the surgeon who did the surgery to take the bullet, I got shot in my face with a nine millimeter, excuse me, nine millimeter hollow point bullet called a cop killer. I literally have told everyone and never changed what I said. I watched him. I got pow powed in the face. I watched him fire the gun. I've said it all this time. Even the surgeon who did my surgery to take out part of the bullet fragments that was aspirating into my lungs and try to remove as many bullet fragments as possible testified in the criminal trial that while they were putting me under, I was screaming, Puffy, pew, pew, me in the face. 
He testified in the criminal trial. It is in the record. They all knew he did it. Everybody knew he did it. But he paid off the club bouncer named Sharice and all these other people and the club owners with their video to hide the video. That's his M.O. I told everybody that. This man almost took my life, has traumatized my life, has caused undue harm, irreparable damage to my life lied his behind off. I've had all these youngins on the internet harassing me, swearing that I'm making it up that he did it. And look what he did to little Rod. He threatened him. Oh, you don't think I bust my gun? I shot up the club in Club New York and let Shine take the fall for it. I shot them people. Well, well, well. It only took 24, 24 whole years for it to come out. You see this tattoo? This commemorates me getting shot. It took 24 years for him to come out and say it. I've been saying it all along, but y'all pick and choose who y'all want to believe. Oh, baby, you ain't seen nothing yet. Not only did he pew, 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 pew me in the face, he also set off a course of harassment against me for the past 24 years. When I tell you the things I went through, there was a time in 2017 and 2018 where I got seven flats on my BMW, seven, the same tire in a two year span, seven on the same tire. And they were all new. Every time it happened, I had to get a new tire. I have the pictures to prove it harassing me. You want to know why? Because prior to Cassie, I was the only person to be victimized by him and then to successfully sue him and get paid. And he had to pay me out of his pocket. He has never gotten over that. Oh, baby. You see this Rico charge that's about to come? This conspiring and pew pew up the club and ruining or attempting to ruin my life. As God is my witness, I will not stop until you suffer every single iota of punishment until I have every second of recompense that you took for me for every tear that I had to cry or my children had to cry. I am going to get a million back from you. I will not stop until you pay the price for what you did to my life. And for all you people out there on the internet and in cyberspace and in the far reaches of my life or the perimeters or wherever, who always like, oh, she just saying that to get some hell. What you got to say now? What you got to say now? I had some youngins on the internet that ain't even old enough that weren't even alive when it happened. Arguing me down, cussing me out, calling me everything but a child of God. Go check Instagram. It's there. Harassing my life. Harassing me. Oh, you lying. He ain't do that to you. You just want clout. You just chasing clout. What is that to chase clout about? How is that clout chase worthy? It doesn't even make sense. Well, I guess you, it would make sense in this new generation. But you better believe I will have my say. I will have my say. Hashtag having my say. Hashtag the dopest nerd ever. Hashtag Ebb Talks. Y'all ain't seen or heard nothing yet. Cold-blooded demonstration. Now, why is this important right now, right? Why is this coming out right now? Because in this lawsuit, in this lawsuit, that Lil Rod just filed, he said that P. Diddy admitted to him that he got away with shooting that woman in the face. And that uh, 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 Shine went down for it. Now, allow me to say this right here, y'all. Um, this world is cold, man. 
And I'm talking about you got people running around here. I'm talking about doing foul stuff like this and then coming out here and portraying to be, hey, it's all about love. I'm all about, you know, my peoples and all this old type of stuff. But then when the, when they get hot in the kitchen, you want to start throwing your crime off on other people's. That's I don't like that. I don't look. I don't No. Uh uh. Don't put me. Don't allow me to go to jail for something that you done did. That's out of pocket. That's bogus. Here it is. You know you done shot this woman. You know I didn't. I'm your partner. But just because you got all the money and the clout, you paying people's off, you paying people to point the finger at me when the evidence is saying I'm innocent? Come on, man. I don't agree with that. And for those of you, some of you probably say, man, would that just high gold hood educated? You know, if you got the money and all that. And if you do, you low down and you rotten. You ain't no different from P. Diddy. And I believe that if you do, if you that type of person, you the type of guy that'll be riding with your homeboy in your car and they find an ounce of dope, yo dope. But they find it on the side where your partner's sitting at and you're going to sit there with your mouth closed while they put their handcuffs on your partner. Yeah, you you ain't going you ain't going to jail. You the type of guy that'll be like, hey man, look, I'm gonna try to get you a lawyer. I'm gonna try to do all that. A lawyer and all that, bro. I'm not trying to be in jail. I'm not trying to be in jail, bro. Stand on your, I mean, come on, just stand on that. But here it is. You got a guy that is loyal, shine loyal to a fault. Lost ten of his years of life. Being loyal to a low-down, dirty dog. Low-down, dirty. That's one thing that I'm talking about I despise. Because it happens all the time in ghettos all across America. Here it is. You got guys locked up right now today for murders that they didn't even commit. But they had to stay down. They had to stay loyal. They had to keep it real. They had to keep their mouth shut. Why? Because they had to be a real nigga. And that's what real niggas do. They don't tell. They don't snitch. They don't break. They don't fold. They keep their mouth closed. That's what they do. And you have a lot of low down, dirty, rotten scoundrels that play on that. They know he loyal to a fault. He ain't going to tell. He ain't going to snitch. So I can use him. I can plant my guns around him. He ain't going to tell. If I kill somebody and they blame him, he ain't going to tell. If they find my gun up under his seat, he ain't going to tell. Because he loyal. And a lot of low down dirty dudes in the streets, they understand that these guys are loyal to a fault. And they use that and abuse that to their advantage. So allow me to say something to all you street brothers out there. Because Shine was being a straight up, I'm talking about what they call a real one. He ain't never break character. He stayed in character. Street code. Allow me to say this to y'all. The streets is not loyal to you. The streets don't, uh, listen, the streets don't give a damn about you. This man right here lost 10 years of his life being dedicated. There's men that are doing life in the penitentiary. There's men that are, are losing years of their life for being dedicated to somebody that don't give a damn about them. But just because the integrity in them won't allow them to tell the truth about the matter. Because for them to tell the truth, they will be breaking street code and that would be snitching. And they just can't do it. So allow me to say this to you brothers. Stop falling for that bullshit and live for your life. Not nobody else. This is Hood Educated, not Lane Related. Peace and love, and y'all take care of yourself out there. If I said anything that caused you to think, 
hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And if you're feeling generous, please make a small donation to the channel. Peace and love.